Hello everyone, it is, what day is it, Monday morning um, at 10 o'clock. I didn't make a video last night, or yesterday I should say. Uh, yesterday daytime was crazy and I was at home all day with Oscar. And then I went to the gym in the evening. And by the time I came back from the gym it was, it felt, it was too late. And I was dead so I just thought I'll get a early night at 1 o'clock. And then Oscar today woke up at 7.30 in the morning after waking up in the middle of the night for about an hour not quite, just under an hour so yay, I feel great this morning anyway, today I will be going to the gym once more so I'm going to the gym in about an hour before that I'm going to go to the police station once again and try and get my registration done which is supposed to have been done like three weeks ago but every time I go there's a different problem it's closed or it's the wrong time, or I have no time, or just whatever, you know. So I'm gonna go today. I'm gonna go in about 20 minutes and take Oscar with me for the walk. And then when I get back, I'm going straight to the gym. Last night when I came back, Hillary was so tired. She was like a zombie. She was saying how oh, she's got like, she's feeling dizzy or she's got like a really bad headache and all that stuff. And it just made me think like, is work worth it? <laughs> you know, you go to work and you make your it affects your health like that to the point you're so tired and you're um, feeling dizzy, like really bad headache, feeling dizzy. Is it worth it? You know, what we're what we doing to ourselves? For what? Like you think how much she would have earned in one day, like that, you know, if someone said I'll give you that same amount of money to give you a really bad headache, you'd be like, don't be stupid. But yet we go to places like work, spend she spent about 12 hours yesterday, was it 12 hours? Um, yeah, she spent like 12 hours yesterday at work. 12 hours for what? Come back feeling like a zombie after like getting no sleep the night before as well. So, it's, I don't think it's worth it at all. But, society, hey? You must have a job, you gotta have a job. I think I really like going to the gym. No, it's not I think. I do like going to the gym a lot. But at the moment, because I've been going with this personal trainer, I don't, it's like I don't dare to go by myself now because I realized that when I was going by myself all those times, I would never come back and feel like I've had a workout as much as I am these days. It's crazy. So it's like I don't want to go by myself now. I feel like if I go by myself, I'm wasting my time because I'm obviously doing something wrong slash not pushing myself hard enough or whatever. But like, I feel, like I've done a proper workout and I feel good <laughs> so it's expensive but I really like going to the gym and I like um, having these personal training sessions I never thought I'd be saying that that's crazy hope everyone's good and a dear future self I hope you're good because these videos I'm sure I'm gonna like look back in 10 years or 20 years or 30 years who knows and be like wow what an idiot and look at me <laughs> can you imagine if you could see videos of yourself talking to a camera like I am now from when you were five years old or something or ten years old it'd be like at the time it's stupid but if you could look back and see yourself back then it'd be quite interesting wouldn't it so that's part of the reason why I'm doing this I know I'm not five years old or whatever but I would like to be able to see like how I was thinking you know when I'm old or older and I look back to now and think ah. Oh, Look at you wasting all your time, or like, look what you were doing, or oh, look at your hair, or your face, or oh, you were so young, or look so old, or whatever. You know, it's just, just, I'm just creating future memories. That's all I'm doing with these videos, and having fun at the same time because I like doing it. It's just fun. Oh yeah, I saw a message yesterday saying about something else that causes cancer, and it just like made me think. You know what? Just give up on the cancer thing because everything causes cancer. Cancer is just going to kill us all. We might as well just, just. Just accept, we can't prevent cancer, we can just cure it. So, work on the cure. The prevention thing is like, it's crazy. We don't really know what causes it. Because if you go onto Google and put anything causes cancer, you're gonna find results like salt causes cancer, water causes cancer, bottled water causes cancer, eating from bowls causes cancer, standing up um, on the bus causes cancer, taking the bus causes cancer, walking in the sun, walking in the shade, living somewhere without sun, living somewhere with the sun. You know, all these things like we say cause cancer, cause cancer, cause cancer, like just everything does. So let's just work on the cure. Well, let's just acknowledge that there is a cure. 
for most cancers, alright? And when we get cancer, just ch get checked, that's all you do, just get checked, and get checked early, and get the cancer cut out, or burnt out, or zapped out, or whatever it is, just get rid of it, but we can do it. So, just stop worrying about cancer, we're all gonna die from cancer. And one thing before I go, like, we're gonna buy a new TV, slash, I'm gonna buy a new TV for this apartment, because the one we've got there is like 20 inches or something like that, and that's like my computer, almost. So, I need a bigger one, I'm gonna get a 60 inch TV, and I was looking at the TVs, just randomly, just browsing for now, and you can get 60 inch TVs here for like a thousand, uh, a thousand RMB, so like about a hundred and something pounds. And I was looking on Amazon how much a TV costs, and it's all like seven, eight hundred pounds for a 60 inch TV. That's crazy, because here there's so many, sort of around hundred and something to two hundred pounds, like within that bracket, there's so many. Sure, they're not Sony or Samsung, but to be honest, in my last apartment we had a 50 odd, 50 inch, 50 something inch TV there, and that was like a random Chinese brand, and they're using the same technology to be honest, because you need to think about it, a lot of the stuff is just made in China, so all China's doing here is making their own little brands and using the same stuff that Samsung and Sony are using in their own TVs, but without the brand, and they just price it based on the parts and a little bit of labour, it's really cheap to get a massive TV here. So I'm going to get a 60 inch TV for this apartment and it's going to cost about, I don't know, I'll probably go 200 and something pounds eventually when I do it, but it's just, it's just crazy how cheap stuff is in China. Anyway, today's video is just going to be that and um, oh yeah, later I'm making a video, it's just Oscar, just Oscar, no me. So the next video is just going to be Oscar and whatever Oscar's doing today and that's all. I'm not going to talk, I'm just going to record Oscar, whatever he's doing. And that's all. Speaking of Oscar, I'm gonna go now. Uh, I'm gonna take him to get my registration done and then I'm gonna go to the gym, so goodbye.